The kidney is a physiologic organ. Everything ends up in the kidney. And the kidney has to intelligently determine what the body needs and what it doesn't need. The only organ that fails, that you can reliably replace it, is kidney. And you can replace it for years. I'm from Ghana, originally from Ghana. I'm from uh, Bolgatanga, it's, it's in the northern aspects of the country. It was the first African nation to be independent. I love science, I always did science when I was a kid. So I actually worked in the pharmacy with a pharmacist and I learned the names of drugs and medications and all that stuff and it was just fun. I, I really enjoyed it at the time. Then I applied to medical school and I was lucky to get a scholarship. At the time of the interviews, I went to several institutions. I interviewed in Connecticut and uh, one of the Harvard programs and uh, some other smaller hospitals. Then I came to Downstate and I was so impressed. I sat in the Perum Long Library and I went to King's County Hospital. I crossed the street and I said, whoa, this is exactly where I want to be. I saw every human being in the world in this, on this campus. I saw African-Americans, I saw whites, I saw Hispanics. I said, this is the environment I want to be in because of the diversity. I met early on in my internal medicine residency, a doctor called Dr. Eli Friedman. Dr. Eli Friedman is an icon in nephrology. He was the first person to perform dialysis that is federally funded in the United States at Downstate. So when I met him earlier in my career, I was really, really very impressed on what we could do. He was able to convince me that the only organ you can replace when it's failed in the body is kidney. I mentioned Eli Friedman briefly, but I want to mention one additional person. That additional name is Samuel Kuntz. He was the first African-American transplant surgeon in the world. And he did the first transplant surgery on live television from SUNY Downstate in 1972. The population of African Americans in the United States is only 12, 13%. But the percentage of African Americans who are on dialysis or having a kidney transplant is 36%. And you know what? These diseases also happen much sooner, much earlier on in people's lives. So that is what drove me to disparities work. I was diagnosed with kidney failure at the age of 21, 2004. I was scared, I was very scared. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was not peeing at all. I did dialysis for eight years at Parkside and I got a phone call in 2012 for a kidney transplant. My organ donor was a 19 year old boy that got into a car accident. So by the blessing of God, I got his kidney and it worked amazingly. It's been eight long, amazing years. It worked out, it worked out for the best. Like I wouldn't have went to any other clinic, any other doctors to go through this. I was blessed to let Downstate come into my life. There are people who have lived on dialysis for 20 years, 25 years, 30 years. I was diagnosed with granulomatosis with polygynitis, which caused my kidneys to fail at age 19. Because of so many years on dialysis, my heart was a little weak, I had to open heart surgery at a young age, yes. My brother donated his kidney to me and I'm actually gonna have two sisters uh, gonna get tested who should be giving me one pretty soon as well. So yes, I'm blessed. <laughs> when, you, when you hear the word dialysis, you think that it's a problem. But those are the people that we see in the hospital. They are a the small number of people who have really big problems and they have to be in the hospital and they look really very sick. The majority of the patients, that's 90%, are working. They're happy citizens. They go to vote. They don't feel sick at all. I enjoy life. I enjoy being around my family. I'm very adventurous. I travel a lot. I'm trying to become an RN nurse. And I think being sick and having all these experiences will make me a great nurse. Being able to 
uh, be part of the Health Disparity Center, lead it, and then create all these programs for, to educate people on hypertension and diabetes. I think that impact is not measurable. Uh, it's not measurable at all. Even to date, I would think that if I were born again, I would like to be a kidney specialist for that reason. Thank you.